Hello there, today in this presentation I will give you some tips on potty training your miniature pincher. Only three things can help you with housebreaking your little guy, patience, consistency, and the right guidance on house training. When we first got our new puppy, named him Lucky. One of the first things of course we did was to begin house training Lucky. But what we quickly discovered is, housebreaking became a bigger task than we thought it would be. There are two reasons for that. Firstly, because of their small size, they can only hold it in for smaller periods of time. Secondly, miniature pinchers have a mind of their own, and that makes them less cooperative as students. What I wasn't prepared for when I brought Lucky home, that unexpectedly happened, was excessive barking, and what I didn't know was, that Lucky needed to be socialized from a very young age, since miniature pinchers detest strangers, and are often aggressive towards other dogs. So it wasn't Lucky's fault, it was my fault for his bad behavior, because I never thought about knowing his personality and temperament. But on the brighter side of things, pinchers are intelligent and can be trained without much of a hassle. So if you want help with dealing with issues that pop up unexpectedly, you can do what I did. I signed up for the free miniature pincher training secrets, free course on miniature pincher training and obedience. To stop all bad behavior, excessive barking and biting, etc. If you are interested, you can find out all about it, at the link down below the video. Ok moving on. You need to set up a schedule, a schedule will help your pup learn what he or she should be doing, and what to expect from you. So setting up a schedule is really important. We started taking Lucky outside, and you should do the same. The first thing in the morning when I woke up. Again 15 to 30 minutes after Lucky eats. After he has taken a nap. After drinking water and again after playtime. And again right before going to bed. We learned that if you see your little guy sniffing around, looking for a spot to relieve himself, take him quickly outside. I think it is a good idea to make sure you take them out on a leash, it's much safer for both you and your dog. Don't worry that you are doing something wrong, or your potty training efforts are not working, if there is an accident, that is perfectly normal, and is going to happen at first. It is a good idea to use a routine along with your schedule. Take your puppy or adult dog to the same place every time he has to go. This will teach him, or her to use that spot, and your pincher will always search for it when he needs to go to the bathroom. Remember to also let your puppy walk around and enjoy the outside once he finishes his business. This way he won't have it in his mind that the only way he can get to go outside, is if he wants to go potty. So he will do a much quicker and better job of relieving himself. As soon as he finishes going, give him a treat and praise him, because then he will want to repeat this good behavior. Pay attention. Make sure to keep a close eye on your little bundle of energy. You will learn the signs of when he needs to pee or poop pretty quickly. And once you do that, you can start to make sure your cutest miniature pincher only goes where it is okay. Remember that house training takes some patience. You don't need to yell or be aggressive. Just a simple stern no will do the job. Just a light slap could injure this little dog breed, so please stay calm. Besides yelling and hitting is not dog training. It's abuse. This potty training your miniature pincher puppy video will help you to get started on the right foot to having a fully house trained puppy in the quickest time possible. So please use these house breaking tips today. Best wishes to both you and your buddy.